In this tutorial we're going to show some very useful hotkeys you can use within Digital Scrapbook Artist. Here I'm going to be showing examples using the shift key, the control key and the space key. The first thing I want to talk about is panning and zooming. There is a zoom tool down here where you can zoom into any area and these pluses and minuses allow you to zoom in and out. But alternatively, if you hold onto the control key on your keyboard, you can use your, the roller on your mouse to zoom in and out. So now I've got my control key held down and I'm using my roller on my mouse to zoom in and zoom out. And you'll notice that it will actually zoom in into the same area that your mouse pointer is. So I can actually zoom in down here. Now another trick is that if you press down on your mouse roller you can use that to pan and you can see that when I press down on my mouse roller I get a little hand come up and now I can actually drag my page around to pan around it. The final thing to mention is that if you wanted to zoom back out to a full page you can just click this button in the bottom right hand side and that automatically brings the page out to fit to your screen. The next thing I want to talk about are hotkeys to help you copy, resize and rotate objects. Now if I just zoom in here, let's say for example I wanted to make some copies of this flower here. Now there's a couple of ways you can do that. You could just use the buttons at the top to copy and then paste it and that will give you an additional copy of that. Alternatively a really easy way is to just hold the control key, click on the object and then drag another copy off and here I'm just holding on to the control key and I can start dragging on as many copies of that flower as I wish. Now the other thing to talk about is how you resize objects. Now you'll notice that normally when you resize an object it will keep the aspect ratio of the object when you're resizing it and it also by default would normally move the center of the object to a different position. So let me undo that. Now if I hold on to control and resize an object so I've got my control key pushed down and now when I resize you can see it's still resizing it but it's actually keeping the object in exactly the same position so that's really useful if you want to keep the object in that same position another thing you can do if I choose this object is if you hold on to the shift key while resizing rather than it keeping the same aspect ratio it gives you complete freedom to stretch it and resize it exactly how you want one final little trick that's worth showing is about rotating objects. So if I bring this embellishment on, for example, I'll just make that a bit smaller. Normally you'd use this handle up here to rotate an object and that gives complete control over precisely how you want the object to be rotated. Alternatively though, if you hold down the shift key while you're rotating, this actually then rotates the object in 15 degree increments. So this can be very handy if you just want to rotate an object precisely 90 degrees or maybe 45 degrees because it automatically snaps into those positions. Now another good use of the shift key is when you're drawing and painting. If I was to choose a paintbrush and I'm going to select one of these glitter brushes here. Currently when you select the brush you can draw freehand to draw whatever kind of line that you want. Now you may want to draw a perfectly straight line and the way to do that will be to hold on shift again and here I'm holding on shift I hold my left mouse button for my start point I've still got my left mouse button held on and then I release it for my end point and that then gives me a perfectly straight line so it becomes very easy to drag on straight lines into your work this also works incidentally with the pencil tool so normally it will be freehand like that but holding on to the shift button means that I can draw perfectly straight lines. And the final thing to mention, this also works with a scissor tool. So if I was to bring a material on, like this for example, pick my scissor tool and then wanted to make a straight cut on this, I can again hold on shift and then make a perfectly straight cut in any direction that I want. Just to mention another couple of useful tools that we have is that when you're selecting multiple objects normally you have to try and drag a box around all the objects that you want to select so if I'm trying to select this glitter brushes for example I have to drag a box around and it can be a little bit annoying because sometimes you select items that you don't want as, as in this case I've actually selected a few of those flowers 
Now you may have noticed if you drag a box and you haven't completely encapsulated the objects that you want to select, that actually doesn't select them. But if you hold on to control, it will actually select any items that the box is touching. So in this case, those three strips of glitter. Now the final thing I want to show you is using the space bar to toggle between the select tool and any other tool that you've selected. So for example, if I was to choose the brush tool, normally when you finish brushing a stroke, you've still got the brush tool selected so you can keep on brushing various strokes here. But if you wanted to move any of these brush strokes around, it would always mean going back up, selecting the select tool, you might just want to move these a little bit. And then if you wanted to select the brush tool again, you have to go back up and select the brush tool and then do some more brushing, etc. Alternatively though, if you hit the space bar, that will actually bring the select tool up. So I've currently got this brush tool selected. By hitting the space bar, that takes me to the select tool. So I can move these brush strokes now. And then if I hit the space bar again, that will then reselect my brush tool, hit space, I can move stuff around, hit space again, I've got the brush tool. So it's a great time saver.